This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 11. The Lord, Yahweh said, Verily it shall be well with thy remnant. Verily I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil and in the time of, of, in the time of affliction. Shalom, shalom, Israel. Before I start this lesson, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Once again, call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I'm the brother Tazamak Amath, coming from the camp, Company of Prophets here in Tampa, Florida. All right, back out here with another lesson. And Lord willing, lesson is edifying. So the hopeful let that scatter abroad. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teaches truth and were well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful let that scatter abroad. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah 15, verse 11. The Lord Yahweh said, Verily, it shall be well with thy remnant. Verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well. In the time of in the time of evil and in the time of affliction. Okay. And Lord Williams lessons this lesson is um it's an ex exhorting, you know, and uplifting because you know, we enter in time of great evils that's about to approach this world, man. Especially here in Babylon, a.k.a. America, okay? The Lord said, it's going to be a time of Jacob's trouble, a time of evil like has never before heard, okay? It's going to be a time of great famine, pestilence, you know, um, people pillaging and robbing, basically a free-for-all. But the Lord said, Verily, it shall be well with thy remnant. It shall be well with the elect. Okay? Because this is what it's all about. Okay? The Lord is coming back for his elect and he's coming to protect his elect. Alright? The elect has already been sealed from the foundation of the earth. Alright? It's already been predestined who the elect was. Is going to get salvation. And man, we're going to see in that time, hey, who the Lord is with. Okay, it says, Verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in a time of evil and in the time of affliction. Another time we we're about to enter into is the time of the hour of temptation, which is the MOTB. Okay, the Lord said he's going to cause the enemy to entreat thee well. Okay. Remember, the Lord said right here, Proverbs. Twenty and twenty four. A man's goings are of Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? Okay. And the Lord is, is the one that leads people to, you know, do the things they were made to do. So the Lord could literally have people, you know, um, as we see in these movies, you know, stockpile on food, have a doomsday bunker, or even so to the depths of, taking the MOTB just to get food, just to give it to, you know, his elect. All right? At the end of the day, the elect is going to be covered. The, uh, the elect is going to be protected. All right? Let's see what this say in the, um, the NLT. What was that? Jeremiah 15... Let's see. 
Bear with me real quick. Let me find the verse. Jeremiah 15. Well, I believe it's not. All right. Jeremiah 15 and 11. All right. In the NLT, it says, Yahweh replied, I will take care of you. Your enemies will ask you to plead on their behalf in a time of trouble and distress. Okay. Now, I'm kind of curious about these certain words in here. So, let's look up um, a couple of these words. Okay. Uh, let's go into this the Hebrew entreat. Okay. It says to make intercession, to meet together. Okay, intercessor, entreat. Okay, so guess what? These, hey, the enemy, hey, they're gonna be the Lord is gonna use them to help us. Okay, now when you go into the word entreat, let's see, let's see, if we could look it up real quick, entreat. In a Google, it says, treat someone in a specific manner. Specific, yeah, in a treat someone in a sp specific manner. Okay, ask earnestly or anciently for something. All right, so the Lord is going to have these, these people entreat us well. Okay, so now let's go to Job, the fifth chapter. <laughs> this is Job 5 and 20. It says, In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Okay, so the Lord is sending plagues all over the earth. All right, and we about to we about to really see, you know, famine on the grand scale, you know, these people, taken over by pestilence, falling down from pestilence. All right, the sword, the sword using out, the sword being used heavy. Okay, but it says in famine he shall redeem thee from death. Okay, hey. The leg, the remnant, they're going to be good. And Lord willing, we be part of that number. Okay. And famine, hey, you're going to be eating. They show you in that, they show you in movies like uh, Leave the World Behind. Okay. How the woman, you know, well, the, uh, the little girl, you know, she was led to this house that had a bunker. Okay. That had all the food, fresh food, you know, everything down there, man. And they were good. Uh, also, the movie The Road, you know, they, they stumbled across a bunker. Fresh food, uh, water, wine, okay, clothes, all right, while everybody else was starving. People were being cannibals, and that's coming back, man. So how much more? The Lord said he's going he's gonna to help us. It says, in famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Hey, because when you go to uh, Psalms 91, Psalms 91, You go to Psalms 91 and verse 10. And it says, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Okay? No evil shall befall you. Okay? So the Lord said, man, hey, you're going to be protected during the time of great evil. Remember, the lit is going to have to still go you know, during during this time of, you know, of 
all these things we're about to see. Because when you read uh, Acts 14 and 22, it says right here, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. All right, so A, uplifting them to continue because look, we at the end of this we at the end of this man's, you know, rulership. We see it. We see the things that's happening. We see the things that's happening in the spirit. We see the things that's being portrayed, okay? Prophecy is at hand. Right? It says that and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high. So the elect is going to have to go through that much tribulation. And remember, walking through the straight gate, that, that, that path of difficulty. All right. It ain't going to be easy. But the Lord also said, hey, I'm not going to give you anything that's too hard for you. Okay. So the elect, at the end of the day, the elect is going to have 100%, 144%. Faith in Yahweh Bashim Shai hey, to to uh lead the elect to wherever they, wherever it may be to be protected, to be guided. We seen that with uh Apostle Peter, we seen that with Daniel and uh you know with Habakkuk. You seen that with the three holy children, okay, when they went to the furnace, you know, we see all different accounts in the Bible. All right, so let's go back to Psalms 91. <clears throat> Psalms 91 and verse 10, it says, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. The elect is already protected. All right, the elect is already protected. Verse 11, for he shall give angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways man we're gonna have guardian angels you know the lord is gonna give them charge hey protect my men guide them show them the the way you know for food for water you know manifest you know this and that to uplift them whatever it may be okay hey but the lord is gonna is gonna be manifesting miracles man Okay, when you go to uh, Daniel 12, Daniel 12 and 1, it says, And at that time, Michael, it says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, all right, Michael the archangel, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Okay, the elect. Okay, the elect is going to be protected. But it's going to get so bad that, hey, you're going to have Michael the archangel come through. And guess what? All the other angels are going to be coming just as well. Just to uh, show them protection. To give them protection, right? To give them food, etc. Man. So when we opened up with the uh a Yahweh Bashim Yashai shall shall have the enemies and treat you well. Hey man, that's what we're about to see. Okay. You're gonna have a hey, the Lord gonna have working on the minds of these people. Hey, hey, come here. You know, I got food, you know, etc. Man. Hey, this is bro. You know the Lord's gonna be our guide. Let's get that. Um, in Second Ezra sixteen, <laughs> then shall you know that uh, you are my chosen. Let's see. Let's let's see if we we'll grab that as well. Um. Mm. Second Ezra 16 and 73, it says, Then shall they be known who are my chosen, 
and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. It says, Hear ye, O ye, O ye, my beloved, saith Yahweh Shah, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. So the Lord's going to be our guide in that time of trouble, a time of evil. Okay. And guess what? When this this place crashed, you know, and everything, you know, we locked down, you know, got no food. Or we, man, we don't got to go work. Man, we're going to be praising the name of Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. But even that, that's going to fulfill prophecy of Isaiah 10 and 20. All right. Hey, because we don't have to stay upon the ones that smote us. We're going to stay upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shad, the Holy One of Israel. Okay, and that's when our faith is really going to be 100% tested and activated. Okay. See, this is why the Lord says, you know, it is impossible to please the Lord if you don't have faith. All right. You got to have faith in this thing. The, the faith is... That, you know, um, how should I say, that drive, you know, and, and it fuels, it fuels your engine to keep going. Okay. Cause when you have faith, that just, that just, you know, makes everything run fluently. Okay. Because faith is a gift and the Lord has to give you that faith. All right, and guess what? Hey, faith is gonna be very uh is gonna be very um scarce in the time that we're about to enter into because people are just gonna give up. They ain't they ain't gonna be hey man, what would the Lord you know, people will question the Lord and because the Lord ain't coming on their time and you know hey but hey Yahweh about Shimi Al Shai and he stands by his word. If he says he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it, man. Okay. We just gotta have faith. We gotta have we gotta believe that he already did it. Alright. You just gotta it's just a matter of patience. And patience is possess our souls. Patience is a virtue. Alright. Patience is gonna be a, a key thing in the time that we enter into. Alright. The Lord is gonna manifest his power during the times of evil. But you just have to trust in the Lord, man. So let's go back to uh, Job, the fifth chapter. Let's finish it out with that. So this is uh, Job 5, verse 20. It says, In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Right? Because, A, we read in Psalms 91 how, A, we're going to be protected. Okay, it tells you how, hey, no evil shall befall thee in thy dwelling. Okay, neither plague. Okay, so you see, hey, the Lord is going to protect his men. There's nothing to be afraid of, right? We're going to see these things. Yeah, it might, you know, um, frighten the flesh. Okay, but hey, the spirit is going to be completely activated, man. Because, hey, we're going to know what's going on. We're going to know what what's happening. Because the Lord has already warned us. He already gave us the insight. All right. And that's and that's a real firm because the Lord has re revealed his secrets unto us. Okay. Versus the others, they don't have the secrets. They, they don't have the wisdom and knowledge to keep them stable. So at that, if they don't have the wisdom and knowledge to keep them stable, they're going to be worried. Versus the men... Hey, they got the wisdom and knowledge. They're stable. They know what's going on. They know this is all part of prophecy. Okay. Verse 22, it says, At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. So the Lord's going to put a, a different spirit upon his men because, hey, what does scripture say in Isaiah 65? Let's grab it real quick. Let's get, just jump to the point. Isaiah 65 and 13 it says, Therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. All right. This is what the Lord said. The Lord said, My servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. 
So the Lord said he's going to redeem these from, he's going to redeem thee from famine. Okay. We read in the beginning how the, the enemy shall entreat thee well. But what is said? Let's go back to it. Jeremiah 15 and 11. Verily, Jeremiah 15 11, Yahweh said, Verily it shall be well with thy remnant. Verily I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in a time of evil and a time of affliction. Okay. All right. A. Hey, when we're fasting, we're inflicting our body. Okay. So the Lord said, All right, you, you fasted enough. All right, now I'm going to lead you to get some food. All right. He said, my servant shall eat, right? Isaiah 65. Thirteen. It says, my, it says, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart. And shall howl for vexation of spirit. Okay? Because, A, hey, the Lord, A, hey, is going to be, is going to be with these men. Okay? And Lord willing, we be part of that number. I mean, we're going to be praising you. How about Shemiel Shai all the day long? Okay? So we're going to be laughing during the time of, the, of destruction and famine. Okay? While the others are going to be crying man all right go to, back to job 5 and 22 it says at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth the animals for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee all right and there's accounts in the bible where you know the lord had used the animals to be at peace with, with them, you know, feed them, etc. You see that in the movie, uh, Leave the World Behind. How the deers, they kept coming to the, to the house. All right, they weren't, well, obviously, you know, the Lord puts a spear on these animals because they already, you know, steps ahead. They could feel and sense the, you know, when things are changing. But also, a hey, the Lord could use the animals to guide you to, you know, to the food, guide you to the safe spot, man. So, hey, they're gonna be at they're gonna be at league with us. They're gonna be at peace with us. Okay, just like how the Lord has used, you know, the raven to to feed Elijah. Okay, hey man, ain't no different. Okay, they're gonna be with us, man. They're gonna be comforting us. They're gonna pre they're gonna be protecting us. All right, so Lord, when's lesson been edifying? I want to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Until next time, I say Shalom.